wrong with your conduct right there? Because you said, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it when I get ready. Huh? Now you don't develop an attitude. You don't throw your head up in the air. You don't pop your lip, maybe suck your teeth. You tell me it ain't something wrong with your behavior. Something is wrong with your behavior. And you need to do what? You need to repent. Oh, I'm not doing nothing. And ain't nobody going to make me do nothing. And you can't tell me what to do because I do what I want to do. Then you ain't a child of God because you can't do what you want. Why? Because you don't belong to you. You belong to him. And the day that you said, here I am, Lord, I accept you, you gave up your rights. Come on, somebody. So when you gave up your rights, you're supposed to do what you're supposed to surrender. Surrender, saints of God. Let me tell you something. The Bible says a man cannot be a leader. That means man and woman when I say man so you can understand. Unless you first learn how to be led. Amen. Everybody wants to be a leader, but nobody wants to be led. You got to take orders from somewhere. Yes. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. But we don't want to do that. We want to do what we feel like it and when we feel like it. But then we say, oh, I'm a child of God. I've been marked. I've been called. I've been appointed. I've been anointed. Oh, glory to God. Then you know what? Your conduct ought to show all that that you just said. That you've been marked, called, and appointed. And been anointed. Come on, somebody. But it doesn't. Because we fight against the work of God. Nobody should have to make anybody in this church work for the Lord. You should want to work for him who died for you. Amen. You ain't working for me. Because I don't have a heaven to put you in. So trust and believe you ain't working for me, but you're working for the Lord. Because he told you that payday is coming after a while, and he's going to pay you on payday. So if you don't work here, you sure can't work over there. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We want to do Thank you, Jesus. what we want to do. Thank you, Jesus. When we feel like it. And he goes on to say, Thank you, Lord. Now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Mm -hmm. And every tree, therefore, which bringeth forth no fruit, he said, I'm going to take it down. Do y'all remember the story when Jesus was going, passing through Jerusalem? Him and his disciples, and he came past the fig tree. Uh -huh. And the fig tree didn't have no figs on it. Amen. And Jesus said, this tree will never bring forth no more figs. He said, because I'm going to curse this tree. That means when he curses, it, it's going to wither. Uh -huh. When they pass back through, they see that that tree had weather. <clears throat> that's going to be some lights, some of the, the roots that's in us. They're not going to be able to bring forth fruit no more because you didn't, you didn't bother to allow him to use you when he called you to be used. So guess what? He's going to take every branch that is in you that do not bring forth fruit, and he's going to cast it in the fire. And guess what he's going to do? Huh? He's going to take your gift and give it to somebody else. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many people want their gift to be taken and given to somebody else? Raise your hand, because I sure enough don't want mine. I don't want my gift. Sin, saints of God, it has consequences. Sin will destroy your life. It can destroy your marriage. It can destroy your family, your future. Sin can take away your joy. Sin can take away your peace. Sin can even keep you from getting into heaven. Amen? Amen. Amen. And see, they didn't believe because they were God's chosen people. They didn't believe that he would talk, as they call it, harsh to them. Because I belong to him. I'm the seed of Abraham. How can he say that every fruit that's in me that don't bring forth fruit, he going to take it out? I'm one of Abraham's children. He said God can give children to Abraham out of those stones. Mm -hmm. So don't think just because you say you, are, you belong to Abraham, you got a right. Come on, somebody. That you don't need to repent. Everybody need to repent. Everybody sin. Everybody come short of the glory of God. Don't think just because you got a membership, you don't need to repent. You do need to repent. We all need to repent. We got some things in our lives that need to go. We got some attitudes in our lives that need to be changed. We got some things that we do that is not of God. The 
way that we act, the way that we treat one another. You ask yourself, thanks of God. I ain't got to tell you. You already know. When was the last time you showed genuine love? I ain't talking about that fake love. I'm talking about that agape love. I'm talking about that love that make you love unconditionally. Love when somebody done done you wrong. You love them in spite of. How many times have you been feeling that? Come on, somebody. I'm talking about real love. Mm? I'm talking about love that make you do some things that you wouldn't normally do in the flesh. I'm talking about love that'll make you love somebody that just cuss you out. I'm talking about love that'll make you say, Lord, have mercy. This is my child, but I got to love her anyhow. I'm talking about real love. When was the last time you really loved somebody? I'm not talking about fake love, thanks to God. I'm talking about real love when you can look beyond the fort and you can say, I know that they got a need and I got to love them anyhow. And when I love them, I love them with the godly love. Come on, somebody. I ain't going to talk about that love that when you do what I want you to do, then I love you. But when you don't do what I want you to do, I hate you. I'm talking about that love that I can love you unconditionally, regardless of what you do, regardless of what you say. I love you anyhow, no matter what. I love you anyhow. I love you anyhow. Oh, thank you, Lord. When was the last time y'all had that love? Hey, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory you know, the worst thank thing is, thank you, Jesus. it's really hard to love somebody when they have done you wrong. Ain't it, y'all? It's hard to love somebody when they have done you wrong, right? But when you got to love